What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. We're here with the final Not Scary Farm 2022 update for the 2022 haunt season. And we are very stoked to be talking about this because with this came tickets, which we won't talk about so much today. We'll wait another time for that video, which will be sometime either next week or in the near future. So look out for that. Uh, before we go any further with this, we just uh, celebrated our fifth anniversary and we wanted to make something very special for you guys. So on our merch site, which is located in the link in the bio, you can find our newest five-year merch. Uh, we had a, a fan who actually drew us. Um, he made me like Eddie and he, he put Sammy's head there and it's like really horror based. It looks so cool. Um, so go check that out. Uh, there's stickers available, t-shirts, uh, and women's t-shirts, um, t-shirts for all genders. Um, so I you get a t-shirt, you get a t-shirt. Exactly. If we were like Oprah, we'd just be throwing them out to people. Um, so yeah, go check that out. It's out right now. But before we even talk further about this maze, let's check out that latest and last trailer for not scary farm 2022. Hey, what's under that sheet? Only one way to find out. Oh! Ew, do I pick that thing up? Um, what's happening? I think this thing's on. Alright, heading down to the woods. Gonna find the old Anderson treehouse. Here we go. You guys sure about this? Don't worry. If anything spooky happens up there, I'll save you. <sighs> Last one up some lame little maggot, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'll take that one. I'm the lame little maggot. Hmm. Whoa. So cool. Okay, I have to admit this place is pretty stellar. You got so bad. Oh man. I bet nobody's been here for a hundred years. Fun in that man. Totally you just wanna play for the cops one day. You're totally gonna need all the help you can get. I'll never nerd. Sammy, what are we looking at this year, man? This one, this one looks good. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's the last announcement, um, something that had been speculated for a little while here. Um, we had all saw that the construction had started over at Paranormal Inc., which is going to be for uh, Bloodline. Forget the year in the 1800s, but, you know, we'll, we'll get that 1842. down eventually. 1842, Bloodline. Uh, but then there was also rumors that over at the old Mystery Lodge, there was a little construction going down. Um, and that uh, rumors was, in fact, true. We have Grimoire, 
I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, and if not, drop a comment down below and tell me how to pronounce that. Um, but uh, this is a amuse, a, a, a muse, a, a maze. I can't print. I can't talk. <laughs> um, and as I watched that trailer, it definitely gave me a lot of like Evil Dead vibes with like the book. Um, so I, I thought it was really cool. Um, I don't know what to expect from this. Um, it was the the little trailer was kind of creepy. Yeah. Um, so whatever this entails, I don't know. I I trust that it's gonna be good because Knotts has not disappointed me. Um, and I and I expect that to continue on through this uh, through this maze, uh, especially as I know that everyone's eyes are gearing towards the 50th anniversary. Yep. So I definitely think that um, they're only going to be putting out the best of the best, and I expect that the same from this maze. What are your What are your thoughts initially on this? Well, I can give you a little description of what the maze is going to be like because I actually was sent this by uh, one of our longtime viewers. And a uh, very special thank you to him. I won't reveal who he is in case he wants to re remain mysterious. However, the synopsis goes as follows. Turn the page and enter the world of an ancient relic whose dark stories exist purely to turn your greatest nightmares into a reality. Try to escape the horror of the evil creatures released by the mysterious book or have your soul eternally trapped within the pages of the next chapter. Bum, bum, bum. That but, sounds better sounds than creepy. what I saw in the trailer, to be fair. Yeah, the, the trailer was kind of confusing. There was yeah. a, there was a lot of jumping around in it. Like it was it was cool, um, but it was like all right, cool. What is it actually going to be? But you know, bringing your your deepest fears to life, right? Uh, it sounds pretty terrifying to me. Um, I know what my deepest fear is, and I don't think it's coming alive. If you're a longtime follower of the channel, channel, you would know that that's the uh, nun from the Conjuring. Um, so I don't or expect the strangers. that. To yeah, yeah, well, that's a realistic fear. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, well, yeah, the nun from The Conjuring, I don't think that is going to be popping out. But I know that someone else on this channel has a deep fear of insects. I do. So if there is any insects in there, I'm going to have a great time watching it because uh, six foot seven crumbles six down six. to six. Okay, okay, I'm not I'm seven. Six foot six crumbles down to about five two. Hey, man, listen. They just announced a bugs maze at Horror Nights today, and I'm so glad, in Orlando that is, and I'm so glad I'm not taking that trip out this year because I would fucking have a panic attack in the maze. Yeah, I would, I would, if I had the money, I would pay to go bring you along and watch you walk through that just because oh, it would give take, me you're, joy. You're treating me to an Orlando trip? Let's fucking say let's, I said, let's go. I said if I had the money. I do not have the money. <laughs> I just moved, and I spent far more money way, than I wanted congratulations to. on the new setup. Thank you. Thank it's beautiful. you. beautiful. But anyway... Uh, this one, I mean, it could be a wide variety of things. From what I'm seeing, overall theme is 80s themed, which is really cool. Um, but as you see the trailer, you cut to different time periods of when the book affected said person who opened it. So I imagine that we'll take a journey through the each time period and maybe we'll see a different creature that like that person conjured up or something. Um, so that's a lot of cool. But yeah, Evil Dead vibes is a huge thing, especially this treehouse in the woods. Instead, it's, you know, it's a treehouse, but in the movie, it's a cabin in the woods. Um, and then you have this mysterious, like, book that has, like, a lot of ancient relics and stuff on it. Um, not quite like the Book of the Dead, the Necronomicon, but it's the same kind of concept of what, what they yeah. conjure up and stuff. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, I, I just think, yeah, like you said, it, it's not that, like, I wasn't interested at all in the maze. It's just, I, get, I guess the trailer was just very confusing because it just goes to different time periods. But uh, bravo to them. All these trailers this year were probably all phenomenal. Um, Bloodline easily was probably my favorite, uh, and I'm so soaked for that maze. But this one should be a fun one. I mean, it's something new. It's something uh, maybe there's going to be using new technology we haven't seen or transferring stuff over from paranormal into this, which would be really cool and kind of update new effects and whatnot. So I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to kind of get the Mystery Lodge back because it did feel a little weird without it last year. Um, so that's going to be fun. And it's kind of really expanding more mazes in the park. Like, that, I really enjoy that. Like, you know, this is going to be probably one of the you know most stacked events since we started covering the um, the event. And then we got a lot of mazes. We got like four in the Gypsy Camp area, one in Mystery Lodge, one in the barn, one behind um, Accelerator. We have one inside uh, one of the, uh, the halls. Ballroom. Yeah, the ballroom. Um, we have Pumpkin Eater. Am I missing anything else? That's nine mazes right there. Um, not to mention four scare zones and um, I believe four or five experiences and shows. Sammy's calculating the math real quick, but I was like, wait, is there five scare zones? Is there four? Four. Forsaken four. Lake Hollow, Carnival, and Ghost Town. Goring 20 is five. 
You're right. Okay, yeah, it was, it was five, five last was, year. Yeah, yeah, it's five. I was like, I'm sure it's five. But I'm like, yeah. well, which one am I forgetting? Going it wasn't 20s. going 20s. It was not going 20s. I mean, but overall, this event looks stacked. We're getting a lot of fan favorites coming back. Origins is making its third year uh, appearance, which uh, I don't think I could speak on behalf of Sammy. We never get tired of that maze. Yeah. Um, it's a very beautiful love letter to Ghost Town. Um, and our and big homie Ted, uh, Ted Doherty, worked on that. And we love Ted. Um, so thank you, Ted, for that. Um, amongst his team as well. Um, and... We're getting guns back. Bloodline 1842. We're going to be ha- uh, hunting vampires. Um, it's it's funny because literally where we wanted the guns to go to the maze right in back of it, which is dark entities. Um, but I'm excited to see that come back. Everybody knows that one kind of gives me the, the, the spooks a little the, bit too. The heebie-jeebies. Yes. Uh, the Depths, another fan favorite of, of Sammy and I's. I mean, just visually stunning going to, on the other water scenes. A little cookbook action. It's great. Waxworks visually stunning terrifying it's returning um then of course our newest maze which i always keep forgetting the name grimoire grimoire that was it yeah grimoire is coming um and this one seems interesting mesmer is making a triumphant return after its successful first year such a beautiful maze um dark ride is returning and i believe i my projections predictions is going to say dark ride or pumpkin Eater. it's going to be its last year i don't think they've announced it yet but um, this might be this last year to replace two mazes for the fiftieth. So yeah, yeah, definitely. We might we might get a two two maze drop with uh, Dark Ride and Pumpkin Eater, which I was surprised they didn't announce it because like I feel like you want to give it its farewell season, so right. maybe we will get an announcement, um, or maybe they're just gonna go, hey, we're gonna run this back for forty nine next year, um, and then fifty, we're coming out with like four new mazes or something. I don't know. Only time will tell. I mean, you know. One of the things that I love collecting, and you can kind of see them briefly on like this wall right here, uh, is the Legends uh, pins with the you know the coffins with the uh, past mazes and stuff. Uh, Paranormal was the newest one last year, uh, amongst like one or two others. And I'm excited to see if they release the Legends pins with these. That kind of will confirm the farewell tour for both Pumpkin Eater or Dark Ride. You know what I mean? So that's going to be fun. Um, there's a lot of great things overall outside of Haunt that are just happening at Knott's with, you know, Montezuma's Revenge, uh, retheming of Fiesta Village, retheming of the hotel. So good for Knott's for actually yeah, a like, new, a new chaperone there. policy. Chaperone policy. That is something we will talk about in another video next week, which is the No Before You Go. It's the first time we're actually doing something like this to give you guys uh, some facts about the event. There's a lot of new updates that you will uh, see that have changed in policies and stuff. So we want to make sure you guys are prepared to go. So look out for that sometime in the near future. Um, with this announcement, it also was announced that tickets are now on sale, um, and we'll be diving deep into it. But I do want to talk about one thing out of those tickets, which was a new feature added this year, which was the uh, Behind the Fog Tour. That is something that you're going to get to go through uh, three ma- three mazes before the event starts. They're going to give you behind-the-scenes look, um, and it's, it's it sounds like a lot of fun. Sammy and I are, have already purchased tickets for opening weekend for that, so we're going to be uh, – we're going to hopefully – they let us film and stuff, but we're going to try to get as much content for what that was and stuff. And that seems like a lot of fun. Um, I'm glad that they're finally doing something like this. They have very well detailed mazes and to actually get to see it in the sunlight of like the little minor stuff you might miss because it's too dark. That's going to be a lot of fun. And I know I'm stoked for it. What about you, brother? You stoked for it or what? Yeah, definitely. And I don't know that it's just going to be three uh, mazes. Um, it's three hours. Um, so we might get four maybe um maybe four of them and if they are like if i'm gonna if i was a betting man but i'm not i would say four mazes over in gypsy camp but only time will tell that would make and the most it, sense because yeah, that's out of the way yeah um if but like i said if i was that's only if i was a betting man uh, but my best guess is uh that we are going to go through those um and we're going to do our best to cover it i don't know that we're going to be able to like um, do a lot of content on it, but we'll do our best to put out a nice video, get some pictures, um, and uh, maybe some clips, and uh, well, you know, and and just do a, a comprehensive review of that. So so stay tuned to the channel, and if you if you want to get the notification for that, go ahead and hit that bell, as well as if you've been liking what we're doing, hit that subscribe button because we have a ton of content coming out as we are leading up to haunt season and then once we get into haunt season you're going to be getting all your povs you're going to get some vlogs and we're going to have a great time on the channel um as well as i know that we're going to be putting out our our hype list what's uh 
And uh, with some announcements maybe coming over at uh, the old HHN, you might be getting something there. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like video. And then one last thing, drop a comment down below what you think about the newest announcement for Grimoire. With all that being said, we have one last thing we want to actually announce. Um, earlier on Instagram for our fifth year, we started a contest that is live right now all the way to September 2nd is going to be your deadline for that. Um, we are giving away two knots tickets, uh, general admission for opening weekend, at specifically that Saturday uh, to one lucky person. So go enter now. Uh, the post is on our Instagram. It tells you all the details of what you need to do to enter um, and then hit us up and we will uh, sign your name into the contest. So good luck to all uh, and you get to enjoy Not Scary Farm on its opening weekend. Um, and I hope you guys have a great time. Whoever wins, congratulations to that winner and the future. Um, but with all that being said, Sammy said it best, you know, do all those things and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.